Normally our room will round up so about games on the misty borders of being vaporware, but today is different. Instead we're going to look at Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Love it or hate it, Blops 2 will dominate the FPS landscape in 2012, so consider this your preparation montage. We already know the basics. Black Ops 2 is set in the future and the plot revolves around a second cold war between China and the USA. We also know that the main bad guy is one Raul Moendes, an insidious mastermind hellbent on global insurrection, the naughty scamp. More interesting is the way the plot twists away from typical COD narrative. We've got a similar time travelling tale as we saw in the last Blops, half of it takes place in the 80s and the other half in the near future, but this time your choices will actually have an impact on the outcome. Where past COD games sometimes felt like barely interactive shooting galleries, the story here will branch dramatically. The new Strike Force mode promises to take this theme even further. If you haven't heard already, this mode offers non-linear single player additions to the main campaign. Sandbox interludes that can be attempted between levels, which affect the outcome of the overarching Cold War setting. For once, failure is actually an option. Mess things up here and you'll have to push on in the probably doomed world you've created. Compared to the hands-off approach of previous Call of Duty encounters, it's an exciting concept, not least because controlling your team of faceless Gennaro soldiers will give Strike Force an intriguing real-time strategy feel. The main campaign promises to be a family affair with a Mason on hero duty in both settings. Original Blops gunman Alex resumes his role of lead protagonist for the 1980s section, while his son David is the unlucky blighter stuck in the future of weaponized quadrocopters, walking tanks and war. Now the one thing that sets Treyarch titles apart from their modern warfare siblings is quite obviously zombies. And thankfully the reanimated dead return here bigger, badder and brain nommier than ever. We've also heard that up to 8 players will be able to take a stand against the shambling hordes as opposed to the previous 4. And double the players obviously means double the undead. We're not sure if that's good news or bad news. But there'll also certainly be new modes to beat artificial life back into the minigame. We predict most of them will involve putting bullets in zombie brains. Now let's talk about the other online features. Again, this is all speculative stuff, but the multiplayer game will feature a creator class system called, no prizes for guessing, Black Ops Creator Class 2.0. We've also heard you'll have 10 allocation points to spend as you wish, so you can load up on weapon attachments or drop guns completely, instead choosing to acquire a weapon in-game in exchange for every perk imaginable. Whatever way you spin it, it'll be about 15 heavenly seconds before some gifted 13-year-old calculates the best distribution of points and starts handing us both butt cheeks online. Speaking of multiplayer, we have some good news for PC gamers. Black Ops 2 will have dedicated servers, and the PC version is being developed by an entirely separate team, so no shoddy console ports here either. Shouty, often wrong analyst Michael Patcher is convinced that Nintendo reluctantly created the Wii U Pro Controller following pressure from Activision. And when we say convinced, we mean he guessed. If true, it's a telling analysis of how prestigious the title is, with Ninty tinkering with the Wii U's design in return for a slice of battered cod. Cod is also a fish! Sadly though, it probably means we'll miss out on the Wii U gamepad's teabagging cam that we just invented. And finally, what about the release date? Continuing Activision's fetish for ordered sequences of numbers, Black Ops will arrive on the 13th of the 11th of the 12th. That's the 13th of November to you and me. Delays are rarely a thing with a game this huge, so champagne receptions and midnight launch parties are being planned as we speak. That's all we've got for you this week, but keep it CVG for more news, reviews and previews. And as ever, please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.